I see and feel rooms, uh, kind of spaces. Uh, it's an inner presentation of the outer world, but not, but, but not, not as it is, uh, but as I feel it. In every situation I am, I have special feelings, and for this I have special rooms with uh, special textures and special colors. And it's really abstract. It's not not to, you can't compare it to the things you see um, with your eyes. So it's more like uh, being in an abstract world and feel these forms and. Yeah, they're in a way flying or hanging in the room just by, yeah, like on an abstract painting. And these rooms are created by everything which is, um, in, with, yeah, which is in a kind of a contact with me in a special situation. So, for example, people, for example, a place itself. For example, a dog or a flying something, um, or a, I don't know what, but it just um, it's a kind of when when you have um, yeah it's it's kind of uh, water is condensing inside me so and, uh, and this con condensation in a way is the synesthesia and uh, in my form the synesthesia is space and yeah. And that's the way I see the world without eyes. A cozy room is a wide open room, not closed, closed with a lot of space, with a lot of uh, organic forms, warm, it's warm, and um, yeah, and uh, with a, a soft textures. And um, yeah, I think in general that's it. An un uncomfortable room is um, is actually um, a room, not a space. It's the opposite uh, of an open space. It's closed, and everything is uh, rectangled. So everything, no organic forms, closed tiny and really narrow, a cold feeling and uh, you can go through with a, with a um, high pressure wa water cleaner and nothing would be destroyed because everything is totally fixed. One could ask in a way where is this, oh, what, what do you use, is, your, well, is it good for something? Or is it just a, just a weird thing and, and uh, um, yeah, yeah, that's the question. Is it good for something? And yes, it is good for something. <laughs> um, it is good for orientation. So when I go step into a room and I, I just get a special reflection of what's going on, of the situation. Of course, I have to find out. Um, why is this room uh, shaped that way? Which means I have to find out if these shapes or where do these shapes in this room come from? So I, I, I just know. Um, actually, I know when I have to be silent and I know when I can speak. And I won't speak when I just know it's it's the wrong situation, it's the wrong person, so it's, there's no fantasy or there's no, there's no, um, there's no space actually. In the beginning you think this is normal and you, you discover that when you realize that this is not normal for others. And I think I, I said, the first time I said something about that, so that I think I, I talked about the number six, that the number six is look, looks like um, the color from the mouse, from the Sendung mit der Maus. It's a special orange and this is the six. And so 
I, I just want to talk about this number <laughs> as you usually like to talk about numbers when you are a child and so I tried to do that and then there was this big understanding problem <laughs> in the beginning when, when I just uh, thought okay uh, we all see uh, we have all colors with numbers and I just want to know uh, what are your colors, do you have the same? And then I realized that uh, they did not understand me. They didn't understand me at all. And um, then I just thought, okay, I have to think about that. <laughs> I have to think about that and um, and talk to the others later. And then I think when I was 13 or, or I think something between 13 or 17, I realized that there is a, a, a special um, a word for that and um, yeah and then I, I yeah it was that way but actually there's nothing to realize because it's just the way I perceive the only thing you realize is that other people have a different perception everybody has a special perception everybody but as a synesthesian, you have to look at it because you see, see it all the time. And we don't, when you don't have to look at it, you don't think about it, I think. Or you're not so aware of it. There was one, one time when I had um, a cough or uh, so I, I was sick and I got, got some medicine and um, my whole synesthesia was gone. And it was really weird because I felt like uh, losing my balance. So I, I was a little, little bit like t disorientated and didn't. I, it was really strange. And I really felt insecure. I really felt insecure. And then I realized that the feeling of being home is really, really, really connected with my uh, inner rooms, with my spaces. And. Um, because I just know without thinking or I just know when I'm at home and this doesn't mean that I have to be at home I, I just see the homes and people I just see the homes and places and so it's just an inner feeling and, and I see it and then I just know where I am and uh, that was pretty weird it was really really weird to see that it's just gone and then, of course, I was asking myself, okay, how can you live with that? <laughs> how is this possible? I, I think I'm really interested in how is it uh, to live without synesthesia.